In today's video, I'm counting down the top 10 denim designer bags that will add a touch of chic to any summer outfit. I've got so many options to share with you, so let's dive in. Thank God I didn't turn my camera off and do all of that before realizing my camera wasn't recording. What a rookie move. What? The first option I'm going to share with you is from Acne Studios. And trust me, you're going to want to see this. It's very cute. It's very unique. So this is the Distortion Mini Bag. Oh my gosh. I love the edginess of it. I love the shape of it, the color of the denim, the top handle, the structure, the symmetry, the hardware. Everything about this is just super cute. Just look at it. The long across body strap. The top handle, it has everything I like in my designer bags and it's just stunning. The price point isn't too bad either. It's $12.50. I know it still might be pricey for some of you who don't want to pay that for a denim bag, but come on. Denim bags and other brands are way more expensive than this one and this one is super unique, super chic. Next option is from Givenchy. This is on my wish list. Should come in, should come as no surprise. This is the small 4G soft bag and quilted denim. Pass this up twice in the market, y'all know the story. The third time I go, I might not do that. I might get it. I dedicate myself to this great task. This is everything. The stonewashed denim kind of like a tie-dye vibe a little bit with just denim and stonewash, silver, chain, long across body strap. Oh, man. It's just everything. You can carry it either by the chain or by the long strap, by the way. This is love how the silver chain just hangs at the front when you're not using it. The back pocket, oh, everything. The large interior opening. You don't have any dividers in there, which y'all know I find an issue with dividers and smaller bags. It's everything, sis, it's everything. Next, also from Givenchy, this is a hobo style bag. This is the small moon cutout in 4G denim. Now I know it's another Givenchy bag, but they have some options, sis. Just wait, we're gonna get into it. This one isn't so quiet. It has Givenchy Paris on the front, it has a white top handle strap, has white and basically silver hardware all over it. It kind of reminds me of my Prada Reedition 2005. It has similar vibes, except the middle part is a little more narrow here, but you like hobo style? Here you go. Next, also from Givenchy, last one, but they just have some goods. This season, this is in a darker denim. This specifically is the mini G tote shopping bag and 4G bleach denim in denim blue. It comes in a light denim as well, but I just want to share something different so you have a little more option. But if you like the lighter one, just refer to the one I just showed you. It's the exact same color. Same idea as the previous white top handles, white longer strap. This one's more structured, more boxy. Obviously, it's a tote and it does have kind of like a utility style longer strap. Yes, my phone is in 10%, I need to charge it. One issue I have with this, it has white feet on the bottom, which I simply don't understand because hopefully you don't put your bag purposely on a dirty surface, but just for things you can't see, you're putting white feet on the bottom, it's like, it's gonna get dirty, you know? I don't know, but no zipper along the top. If that bothers you, it might not be an option for you, but just want to share it nonetheless. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You don't wanna miss any luxury fashion or designer bag videos, such as this one that I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. To ensure you don't miss out, be sure to subscribe. Next option, oh my gosh, this brand has been speaking to me lately. It's JW Anderson. It is under the LVMH umbrella, in case you weren't aware. Owned by the same companies, Louis Vuitton, you know, all of them. But specifically, I wanted to share with you the Mini Twister denim leather bag. Just look at the knot. It's not really a knot, it's like a twist, like a twist. And ring it out. <sighs> Front flap closure, old hardware, like an antique, maybe antique gold, I can't really tell right now. Yeah, it looks kind of antique. Large open, magnetic flap closure, little tiny interior pocket. Just look at the twist, just look at the twist. This is quite minimal too, quite quiet. It's just a tiny little logo at the front. This is super unique. I have not seen a denim style like this. I could be wrong. I don't know everything. I wasn't born in the 1800s. I have no idea, you know, about what was out before my time, but I quite like this. I quite like this a lot. 
This next option is from Burberry. It's the Lola Small Denim Shoulder Bag. What I love about this one, it has mixed colors of denim. It has a darker denim, a dark denim, and then it has a lighter denim, kind of like a gradient effect, which is nice. Against the silver hardware, it's super nice. I know a lot of people don't like the TV logo. I've never had an issue with it. I have earrings, two pairs of earrings with it on there. It doesn't bother me. But silver is definitely the perfect choice for this bag, in my opinion. And I also love the fact that it has a top handle too, which is quite nice. You can rock it as a crossbody. Large interior open and large slit pocket in the inside, which is nice. I love the Lolo style in general. I think it's super cute. It kind of gives me classic flap vibes, semi sort of, you know, don't come for me. I just know, I already know. But anyway, love it. This next option is super unique. It's from Dior, which y'all know is always overpriced in my opinion, but it's cute nonetheless. This is the medium Dior Carl bag in Blue Dior Brocart denim. I just love the print on this. It's quite nice. It's unique. I haven't seen it anywhere. Bright gold hardware, which looks so good against this. And yeah, just look at it. Large opening, dark denim on the inside is lined with dark denim, which is very nice. Large zip pocket on the inside. Longer strap. Love the fact too that it has fabric on the shoulder. Y'all know how I feel about chain being all the way across. I feel like it digs into your skin. It tarnishes possibly, especially if you sweat like I do. But yeah, this is very nice. And I think that maybe, I don't think that's a back pocket actually. And I believe the back of it says starting Montong. Yeah, it is a back pocket, it looks like. I don't know, I could be wrong. Let me look at the description. Yep, back pocket. So there you go. Next from Bottega Veneta, we have the mini Jody and denim. They have the teen Jody and denim, but we're not talking about big bag big bags. Y'all know how I feel about big bags. This one's 3300 I believe the teen is 4300 if I'm not mistaken. Overpriced for both of these, by the way but I think it's super cute. It has mixed denim look with this too. And it's just adorable, just look at it. Oh, MG. With the Intresciata leather, or not leather, weaving, oh God, not leather at all, <laughs> it's denim. Intresciata denim, maybe? But yeah, I just think this is cute. Let me just show you the bigger one because some of y'all gonna be like, you biased, girl, you biased. So let me just scroll over here and show you the other version, which is bigger. I have seen people with the teen. I just think it looks too extreme. I don't know, it's just me. I'm just so used to the Mini Jody, how cute it is. I tried that, as you know, with the Jacquemus, with Chiquito. I got the bigger ground version, but that was not the vibe. It looked horrendous on me. I just feel like this would be the same. I just don't look good with big bag. I don't feel comfortable with a bigger bag. So I just wanted to share it with you anyway. It's 4,300, which is ridiculous by the way next this one is from oscar de la renta and i haven't talked about this brand on here either but i had to share this cutie with y'all this is the tro denim shoulder bag that gorgeous floral in the front the gold hardware the dark denim the leather trim chef's kiss beautiful i love everything about it i think it's nice and structured i do wish it was a bit bigger just a smidge bigger but it's totally fine um it has a top handle too as you see large space in the inside you don't have to worry about a divider has an interior slot pocket and i don't think i told you it retails for 21.90 they are taxing for these dumb bags they taxing too much if you ask me but i guess i guess uh, taxes <laughs> let me try to zoom in a little bit i just i don't know it might be cute i just wish it had a little more height to it not quite so rectangular, you know? I don't really like super rectangular ba bags like that. Which is a little taller or even a little longer would be great. I don't know, whatever. That pro probably make no sense, but cute. Next one, Valentino. This is the medium Roman stud denim shoulder bag. I saw this one in Valentino when I got my, can't see them up there, but when I got my orange platforms repaired. Oh, divine in person with the gold hardware. I think it's so cute. However, the medium size is a bit too big for me, but I don't think they have a small size, but this one is actually okay. I think I, the one I have is a medium too, the neon blue color, but I love this one. It is cute. It is lined with brown leather, which is nice, and there's studs all over it. If they're anything like the studs on the other one, they are very low maintenance, not too low maintenance. Don't just go banging your bag against stuff, but the studs don't come off as easy as they look, but the bigger ones might be different. I'm not familiar with the Roman stud. I'm only familiar with the Rockstead and those are quite fine. 
and yeah, cute option. I also want to share with you another cute option from Jacquemus, the Le Bazoo denim shoulder bag. If you want to dip your feet into the denim bag trend, but you don't really want to spend too much money, you don't really want to get to anything too extreme, this is a great option for you. Jack Moose always has affordable bags. Affordable when compared to other luxury brands, okay? But gold hardware along the front, skinny strap. I love that. Like they do bags, they do detail, they do unique and edginess so well in my opinion and this bag is no different it has a slight distressing around the zippered area and it has a slit pocket on the inside and opening looks like you can fit your phone in there but the sides look to be pretty thin so you might not want to try to squeeze too much in here but that's not the purpose of this bag it's, it's, a, it's a small hobo style bag slight hobo it's a bit longer than that but i just really like this one it doesn't come with a longer shoulder strap anyway or not a longer shoulder longer crossbody strap so that's an issue for you you might not want to get this one but it's still cute which option was your favorite let me know in the comments below also if you own one of these let me know too don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i post such as this one and in case you missed my last video i have a link here talk soon